Well, I've been coming to this practice for quite a number of years seeing Dr. Tom Emerson. And um, when we realized that um, the, the, uh, pr the procedure that I needed required someone besides Dr. Emerson, he referred me to Dr. Capatia. I'll tell you, my first impression was young, <laughs> very knowledgeable, but very personable. He's, he was someone that I could just relate to immediately. And, we, and he could communicate on my level, a lay, lay person's level. And it was just sort of an instant comfort, I guess. Well, I, I really think one of his strong points is that his teaching ability because he can, he went through everything, exactly what I was experiencing, exactly what I was going to experience, exactly what the surgery would entail, exactly what the outcome he anticipated, and exactly what the post-surgical care would be. And, and uh, he did it in such a way that I left feeling very informed. So I'm the type of person that I like to make informed decisions and there's no question that once I left his care, and my wife was with me, and she is a um, nurse practitioner, actually has her doctorate degree in nursing, and she was uh, really understanding and understood everything that we were told and felt very, very comfortable also, and that's important. The, I didn't experience anything that I has, hadn't been told. Uh, everything, I think, went extremely well. I had a good bit of swelling. I was told that I was going to have a good bit of swelling. Um, the, um, but everything started um, getting better very, very quickly. And uh, I'm four weeks, four weeks this past Tuesday post-surgery, and actually I'm being released, which uh, initially we were told it could be up to six weeks. So uh, I think things have gone uh, very well, and even Dr. Capatia, I think, has gone even better than he anticipated. He sort of scolded me because I haven't communicated with him enough, so he calls me. Uh, he's called me on, and, and I didn't do that out of any other reason than except I was just trying to be courteous. I know how busy he is, and I didn't want to be a pest. But he has actually called me on several different occasions just to check on me and, and fussing at me, saying, uh, you, I thought you were going to call and, and tell me what's going on, but not really fussing just in a, that's in a joking kind of way. But uh, he, uh, he very, very, very good with follow up. It's just been it's been a um, an interesting experience. I'm looking forward to the to the outcome. Uh, I'm a 76 year old guy, but I'm not ready to to uh, to stop. Uh, you know, loving my wife and being with my wife and being intimate with my wife, and so we're really really looking forward to that. <laughs>